I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. A big ridge of high pressure over the desert southwest that's building towards the plains keeps our rain chances away for a prolonged period beyond the next seven days. After our coolest day of the next week, with highs today in the 70s, temperatures quickly warm into the 80s tomorrow, the 90s on Wednesday. A cold front cools our daytime highs to seasonal levels in the mid-80s to the low 90s for Thursday. The ridge of high pressure from the district southwest moves overhead for Friday through the weekend. The heat cranks up with highs in the mid to upper 90s for Friday. This weekend likely to be the hottest weekend of the summer so far, with highs in the upper 90s to the mid-100s. There are no signs of cooler weather in the long term. Warmer than normal temperatures are likely for Nebraska, Kansas, and the eastern two-thirds of the U.S. this weekend through August 27th. Rainfall mostly near normal this weekend through August 27th for Nebraska and Kansas. Those rainfall chances are slightly higher towards the northwest part of Nebraska, while rain chances are lower over southeast Nebraska and the eastern half of Kansas. Key weather factors impacting the markets include hotter and drier weather for the Corn Belt, heat in Europe, and rain for the Canadian prairies harvest. Extreme heat affecting the northwest U.S. and the deep south expands this week. Late in the week, triple-digit heat returns across portions of the northern and central plains. Significant rainfall is scarce the next five days. Most of the rain falls early in the week with low pressure tracking across the upper Midwest. The low reaches the Atlantic coast tomorrow after producing as much as one to three inches of rain from the Great Lakes into the northeast. The storm's trailing cold front stalls across the lower southeast, allowing heavy rain to fall from Florida to the coastal Carolinas. Dry weather prevails the next five days from the Pacific coast to the plains. The exception, some scattered rain from the monsoonal flow of moisture in the four corners and nearby areas. Northern areas of the plains and Midwest see some rain late this week through early next week with the stall front. Rainfall that benefits filling corn and soybeans where it does occur. Towards the Canadian prairies, some rain is expected this week just as harvest gets underway. European temperatures are really heating up and are forecast to remain warm to hot through next week, which could be unfavorable for any summer crops with limited soil moisture. Most of Europe, though, has good soil moisture from recent rains and with more rain this upcoming weekend through next week. I'm Paul Perkins. That's a check of the ag weather.